Trivi's help shows us that Trivi can do different kinds of scans. We're going to scan an image, so we want to use this option here. Before we scan the image, we need to know the name of the images that are available to us. Currently, we have all of these images as shown by the command docker images. And let's say we want to scan the MySQL image. This one has the latest tag, so we don't even have to specify a prefix or a suffix. We can just say trivi image MySQL. And trivi will automatically append or prepend the Docker Hub address and also append the latest tag. So once the scan completes, which can take up to a couple of minutes, we can see the results. Now let's use a different example. Let's say that we wanted to scan the LDAP image here. This one doesn't end in the latest tag, so we need to be a little bit more explicit about the name. So we say trivi image, and then we're going to put the name that includes the tag on the end. Otherwise, we would just go look for the latest tag. Also, let's take a look at sending the results out to a file. So in this case, we're just going to do redirection to tempresults.txt. That way, we'll have a copy of the results. Another neat thing about Trivi is that if it's already scanned the image and the image hasn't changed, in other words, if the hash is still the same, it doesn't actually rescan the image. It just pulls the results out of the cache and shows them to you. And it runs fairly quickly. So for about every 500 megabytes, figure that the initial scan will take a couple of minutes. But of course, if it caches the results, then it'll only take seconds to pull back the latest results. 